So here I'm going to teach everyone how to use Dropbox to manage your client information, listing information, and database. First, you'll create a folder. You can name it whatever you want. I'm going to do it client. And then for buyer, you can create a buyer folder. I'm going to do it as buyer residential. And then you can create your client's name. After that, you put this transaction address. So this way, in the future, you can either search your client name, search the client address, you can find this file very easily. And then you can copy and paste whatever um, checklist you have for this deal. You can paste on the top overview a list, select everything, click create to do this check mark. Then you will create a checklist, right? When you have accept the offer, you click here, it'll be checked off, right? You have a signed PDS, you have a remuneration disclosure, you have a fin track, privacy. You can check off all the things you already have ready in the box. And then once you have all the documents checked off, you can share this file, share this file with your convincing or with your client, with anybody you need or with your lawyer. Just enter their email address over here. That's very, very easy to do, right? And now, if you're working on a listing, let's do another folder, seller, residential. Same thing, you create a client name. And you create address. Now, same thing, you're going to copy a list of documents you need. On the top overview, click it and paste it. Select everything, click to do. Then they will be converted into checklist. So once you have your MLS agreement, check off, and you have a privacy, you have your data input, you have your fin track, you have everything, and then you can share your MLS list listing information to your company, right? Also, to be more specific, under this address folder, you can create another folder called MLS, right? So within this MLS, you can go back, copy, or just copy everything, and go back here, check mark, select everything, convert it, right? Now, afterwards, you can go back here, select your folder, and share you can share with whoever you want for your listing information. And when you have an offer, you can create another folder here called offer, right? You can say the offer from agent one. So now you get very organized because you may have different offers, right? You can have offer from agent one, agent two, agent three, agent four, you name it. So now I'm going to show you how to do a database. Create a folder, name database, and you can create another folder. Let's say, or you can create a spreadsheet. Go to spreadsheet, Excel, open this Excel. Okay, on the top left, click and change the name to past client.
Okay, so now client name, phone number, email address, right? Now you have client A, B, C, D, E. You have a hundred clients here. If you want to find client, go to find function and type in client E. Now it'll go directly to client E. Right? You can also put transaction record. So maybe you can say we bought something back in 2018 in May, right? We bought 1234 ABC Street, Vancouver. Now you have a record. And later on, we bought something else. You can add in the front, let's say 2020. We bought something in June, and that was 4567 Street, then Hoover, right? Now you have a history of client transaction. You can put in the next box. You can say, um, let's say, note. Or you can say, um, log, right? Last time you called the client and we talked about um, upsizing. in three months, right? And note, uh, want to buy a four bedroom townhouse in Richmond. Now you can have all the record you need for your database. After that, you see here it is saved, right? So now you just close it and refresh your browser. Now you have a file here. You can open and edit at any time.